hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today we're gonna be putting together this. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's We're gonna change things up slightly, but we'll see. And then uh, before we get started though, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate all the help that I can get. All right, so um, this is from ogcrafts.com. I already did the design space tutorial, so you know where to get the file, where to purchase the file from. Um, I mean, it's just gorgeous. And you can look on her blog to see her take on it, which is, I mean, it caught my eye when I was on Pinterest and I've been dying to make this and it has not disappointed at all. Um, hers is a little bit different because she has colors. Um, she's got her pretty like light blues and greens and purple. And so that changed the look. I am going, I'm going to be adding things later. So for this tutorial, we're just covering up the actual styrofoam. So this one's a bigger one. Um, so we're not going to finish this because her file is designed for a 10 inch wreath, which is this. And so I've cut out just enough for that. I'm actually going to use the same, the same measurements for everything and have this running across. I wanted to see what it looked like to see if I actually do like the way, cause this looks kind of full and I'm worried that as I add more <clears throat> bigger elements to it, that it might be too, um, too squeezed in and too cluttered. So on this one, I might just do something like simple like this and I might actually go back to hers and add little flowers. I'm not sure yet, or I could keep this one. We're gonna see. One is for Barely Art, um, the Barely Art Design Team, which is why I'm making this, and then the other one, we'll see. So all right, first things first. I'm gonna move this aside. I have my color scheme here. Oops, I just knocked it over. So I, um, you know, and this is green. It's not so, so bad, but it's not perfect. So I went and got streamers. We wanna cover this up because if you see here, I'm gonna bring it back for a second. Um, you don't notice it at all, right? I'll turn it around. That's what it looks like. So we, we don't want to be distracted by what's behind there. It's going to be all the pretty stuff up here. So, um, the streamers and, and this little guy is from the Dollar Tree. So $2.50 gets you this, and then you just cut out your cardstock. The file is awesome because you literally, sh the file tells you how many to cut out. It's already sized, so you're ready to go. Um, all right, in her tutorial, in Olga's tutorial, she uses a glue gun to do this, the streamers, but we might be pinning things in. So I'm actually not gonna use a glue gun. I'm gonna use my Barely Art glue, which is what I did for the smaller one. So I'm gonna continue with that. Now, because we're wrapping um, streamer paper, you want to cut off a piece because you don't want to be trying to take the whole thing and wrap it in and out. So just cut off a piece. I'm going to start here and just put some glue down just to get started. You're, we're not even going to notice this really because all of our leaves are going to be covering that. So every few turns or so, I'm going to put down a little bit of glue just because I don't want it to move on me at all. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit on the actual streamer so that the piece on top stays stuck to it and then a little bit of glue on the actual styrofoam. And that actually, it did not unravel at all in the whole project. So just every few, just so that it just doesn't somehow get caught on something and then untwist itself. So yeah, I um, I don't know if I'm gonna like this bigger one. So I didn't change anything from the 10 inch one to this one, which I wanna say is a 13 inch one. Um, would it make sense that it's 13 inches? Let me see, 14 inches. I was gonna say, it's kind of weird. <laughs> um, I think if I, at first I didn't realize I only had this big size. I think if I realized that I had a bigger size, I would have made everything a little bit bigger and just made some adjustments that way. Um, but we'll give it a try. I don't think the leaves are that important, but the word sweet 
it might, you know, I'm not gonna glue that down. I might need to make it longer and bigger. We'll see. Okay, so I've got half of it down. Do the same thing. And you see how it's kind of, you know, it's sticking, so it's good. Um, I cut this off. And again, I'm not too worried about these glue marks because you're not going to see them at all. So let's start here, put a little bit of glue down here. going anywhere. There we go. Um, Olga, her project, I'm telling you, it kept popping up on my Pinterest. It's so beautiful. Um, I eventually want to make, I also bought the other one, which is the fruit one, the fruit wreath. So I'm not sure. I don't know, we'll see. I really wanted to do this sweet Christmas of like blues and um, bright blues, pale blues, same thing with the pinks. I think it's gonna be so pretty. It's like nutcracker and lollipops and frosting. So I'm gonna show you in a second what I have that I think will be so pretty. So I ended up buying some sprinkles like cupcake sprinkles, cake sprinkles. Look at how beautiful these colors are. So it's sort of just like all in the same theme and scheme. <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing that with um, the things that we're gonna put on top of the wreath, like a paper lollipop and it's gonna be glittery and you know, whatever. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, so that came up a little bit. We have just a small portion left, but you can see. Okay. Okay. And we're just gonna wrap around. Oh my gosh, did I not pull enough? <sighs> I didn't pull enough. Okay. So close. All right, let me get that down and we've got just a few more wraps left. And it doesn't matter that it overlaps here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue up here and then I'm actually gonna trim it off because I don't want it to go to the edge over here and then not stick well and whatever. I think it'll be easier to hide it up here. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit more glue down just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. All right, so we're done with that portion. Now I am gonna use my glue gun though to get the rest of it down. All right. So I am right-handed, and so I'm gonna start here, and I'm just gonna keep going like this, add it right here, add it right here, and we're just gonna go in a circle so that it looks like it's just an infinite amount of leaves going round and round. There's no some going this way, some going that way. They're all facing the same direction, okay? All right, so we're gonna take our big ones, which is this one, and we're just going to put a little bit of glue down at the bottom. And I found that it was easiest to just do a little bit at a time and we keep adding so that it's all even. Um, 
and it's really hard to see up close like this. I have to put it down on the ground from a distance, see if like, oh, do I need to put one more leaf right here? Is it pretty round? It looks like this right here is a little bit open for some reason. Oh, there, there's our piece. So you can kind of see what I mean. Like you, it's easier to keep it um, round and even if you just keep moving it like this and adding a little bit at a time. So, so this is what we're doing. And keep in mind, this is a bigger diameter and I did and I cut it for the same. So it's going to look, I'm gonna have to at some point, <laughs> we're not gonna finish and um, and I'm gonna have to go back and cut some more. Now with the glue gun, like that just dripped a little bit like I have um, glue strings. So I'm just gonna take it off now while I can see it and it's easy to, you know, just take off. And this is nice because we're not gluing down the whole thing. So later when we start layering, we can lift this up and have another one go this way. So it's just really nice. It feels very 3D-ish, even though the paper is not curled at all. Now, the one thing that she did um, kind of do differently, these all stayed flat. This little guy though, right here, we just basically took a pair of scissors. I'm not gonna take my sharp one, so give me a second, I'm gonna pull a different one. Okay, so obviously this was flat. <clears throat> and this is the only one that she messed with. So she took a pair of scissors and put it down and I just went like this, just to give it some like pop up. Cause if you look on this one, you can kind of see it just a little bit here and there, but you see all of these kind of like flop and none of them feel very flat. They're going in different directions, it's full. So it really does feel like that it's not paper and real leaves because you can kind of see some bend in, some don't, and I didn't bend it at all. All I did was it's the placement of the glue and that we allow the top of the leaves to still be like moving. So it really gives the illusion of like a very much like real and breathing thing even though it's this beautiful paper so all right let's continue going um now if for some reason you have some that are messed up like this one ripped off not a big deal because in the you know down in the bottom layers which we can put right here we can make sure that that part is hidden okay so i'm gonna put glue here and I just want to make sure it's never going to show ever, ever, ever. So I'm going to put it down like that. There's no need to waste it. We can just continue. So let me move it up so you can kind of see it there. And we're just going to keep going. I will eventually, like this is just the le the wreath. Um, when I figure out what I'm gonna put on the wreath, that will be a separate tutorial because I feel like that can be anything. You can have different, um, that's your personalizing, personalization, how you wanna do it and you know, this could be a patriotic wreath and you can change your colors up. It could be for different seasons with different colors, which by the way, if we did one with like, so now I'm wondering, do we make it like a real wreath and not glue down our pieces, but actually poke them through for all, for all of our seasonal stuff. So like for instance, right now, I'm this one is going to be Christmas, right? A sweet Christmas with like fun candy, lollipops and all that and the nutcracker. But if I don't glue that down, then I could switch this out and put red hearts and stuff. 
come Valentine's Day and East bright Easter eggs and whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. We'll have to think about it. Okay, so we did our first round. It looks crazy, but as we continue to do this, it's gonna look like this. <laughs> so um, let's see. So I'm gonna pause there because let's go and do the sweet part because that's all the same. Literally putting these leaves down are all the same. This one I put on last because we only have a few and they, they have more dimensions to more of a dimensional feel to it. So I put that one on last, but literally for all of these leaves, I did it the same way. I kept moving it so that I'm always putting it on at the right, sort of the, the right angle. Okay, so I've got this. Let's get the, um, where is it? I knew I had it. Okay, so I cut a few because I just didn't know if like, if it would rip, if I needed extras. So I just cut the whole thing. Okay, so we'll get rid of this. All right, this paper is from Michaels. It's really pretty. It's decently priced. It's eight and a half by 11. So that's the scoop. All right, let's see. Now I'm gonna, the bottom of this is pretty, you know, it's, it's not so delicate. So I'm just kind of popping it up so that I have something to grab onto. I'm just kind of popping it up. It's actually surprisingly not as delicate as it may look. Um, I didn't even use this the first for the first one that I did, so. But since we're recording, <laughs> might as well. All right, here we go. So, okay, I think that's pretty good. All right, putting it down on this, because there are some parts that are really thin, I'm gonna lay it flat down. So I am going to use my Barely Art glue Get it in the thick parts that I can easily put glue down. And the rest we'll deal with later. Let's put down the, the main part of the word sweet. So I'm just going to flip it over and start to, you know, this is a really thin offset. I did 0 0.03, if you can believe it. So we want the pink to just peek through. So we just need to line it up. And with this glue, it's important in the first few seconds of applying it that we sort of press it down and kind of like activate the glue, make sure that it's touching like every, wherever it can, that the two um, pieces of cardstock are getting the glue and getting kind of pressed down and then it will it will dry flat all right I left the edges out so one of my things that I like to do for this um, the really thin parts is just to put down some glue like this and then I'm gonna lift this up And then I'm gonna run it through my glue on the back side, just to get enough glue to then put down. So that little thin little thing is down. Same thing with this little T up here. Can you see that? Super thin.
just enough glue. Oops. Same thing on this side. I can't get it to, I can't get it to lift up there. Okay, here we go. Stick my little fingernail in there, lift it up. I'm gonna run it through some glue. All right, so it's down. It doesn't need a lot, it just needs enough to, to get it going, so this gets just enough glue down. And then I'm gonna do it with the heart right here. Oh, the heart's already done. So it's all glued. Look at how pretty that is. So delicate, right? Okay, so on the pink though, we can put a little bit of foam squares down. So I'm going to put it where you can't really see it. Oops. Just enough so that our letters aren't dipping because it's kind of long but some parts won't be supported, like the really thin parts, because it's still too thin, I don't wanna deal with it, so we're not going to. <sighs> now, on the original, oh, just lost my voice for a second. On the original one, I had another offset in white. I need to cut some, so I haven't done that yet. But I wanted to show you this part, because after this, you can get off and not watch the entire video if you don't want to, <laughs> while I put the rest of these leaves on. So, all right, here we go. Now the um, the foam squares or the cubies are from Barely Art, which I really love. They're super, super sticky. All right, so I'm pressing it down, pretty much activating the things so you can kind of see just a little bit just to give it a little something, and then we're gonna add the next layer on. All right, so I'm gonna move that aside. Let's get back to this, and let's continue with these. We only have a few more left. So you can tell this 12 or 14 inch one makes a huge difference. We're gonna to need to cut more. So, and this is the bottom layer, so I'm probably going to have to stop the tutorial to cut more and then, yeah. that beautiful all right so we can continue doing this color I should put more I should put more of the big ones so I'm gonna cut another sheet another two sheets fill this up and then um, start to do these these are all the same and then these are like my little accent colors so I'm gonna layer them in and then this will be the final accent these little these little curly ones and what you will end up getting I'm gonna show you again because I love it so much this so pretty right you can't even tell from looking at it this way that it's this right from the side you can see it a little bit this is the exact like straight view of the side it needs to be tilted this way for you to see it so see how I and then I started adding a little bit underneath and you can kind of see the different layers. It's just nice that there's so much movement in here. Really, really pretty. 
All right, I will see you guys on the next tutorial where we actually add the, the different elements on top. All right, I'll see you guys then. Please put your comments and questions or if you wanna see different types of projects, um, we definitely read through all of your comments. All right, bye guys.